The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thank you, DigiKey, for supporting The Great Search. Every single week, Lady Ada uses the power of engineering to find you all the things on DigiKey.com. Lady Ada, what is The Great Search this week? Okay, so this week I am working on the ST Spin breakout board. It's an ST um, uh, stepper motor driver with current limiting, and it uses uh, resistors to ver you know make sure that the current limiting stays within the desired limit. Um, and uh, to do that, you know, we need to have this uh, breakout board that we're designing, and it's a fixed size. We need to have these kind of large current sense resistors. So I want to show how I found the current sense resistors of my dreams. Let's go to the um, computer. I'll show you the design. So this is the um, data sheet for the ST Spin 220. Um, to see the stepper motor, and then there is uh, two resistors, one for each coil. Um, and this resistor actually has the current pass through it, and so you really, it, it's quite a high power resistor. And um, if we search for, you know, you can, you can determine what resist, sense resistor you want. The sense resistor sets the uh, current limit. So uh, I'm gonna follow the data sheet uh, recommendation values, but of course, depending on the stepper motor you wanna drive, whether you wanna drive it at a full 1.3 amps, or a little bit higher, maybe 1.5 or one, whatever, you know, do the math. But in this case, it's um, 0.33 ohms. So it's 330 milli ohms, right? Because it's a, it's current sensing. Um, you want to measure the voltage going over it and the volt, the current is quite high. Um, so in this case, uh, we're dealing with a 0.33 ohm resistor times, you know, maybe 1.25 amps times 1.25 amps. So it's, it's, you know, over half a watt, right? Because it's uh, voltage times current is um, power, but we don't know the voltage necessarily in this case, so it's just current times current times resistance, which is like the same thing. And um, it's over half a watt. And that's not, usually when people are, are just buying resistors, you know, you're buying a 402s or a 603s, you don't care about the wattage because it's a pull-up resistor or a signal resistor or a voltage divider. The amount of current going through is like, under a milliamp and so that you know you'll, you're never going to get over a quarter watt or a tenth of a watt or a sixteenth of a watt um, and so you can use um, these little itsy bitsy resistors um, but in this case these current sense resistors because there is a full amp plus going through them um, the wattage is quite high which means physically the package has to be larger in order to dissipate that much current um, which is why you see on like our INA 219 um, or other uh, uh, current sensing or power sensing uh, breakout boards, there's this big ass like, you know, 0.1 ohm resistor. Um, that's what the current is passing through and it has to be really large in, in order to dissipate that heat. Um, one thing, you know, early, early in your engineering design, you'll probably spec the wrong size resistor for a current sense resistor because it's, it's easy to be like, oh, I'll just put it 0805 with 603 and then um, it'll immediately overheat and melt off and it'll be uh, super cool because this resistor will just go right off your board, pop. Um, so let's go to DigiKey to find a current sense resistor. Um, so again, I'm going to follow that uh, data sheet recommendation. They say 330 milli ohms, one watt. Why one watt? Because you don't want to have a half a watt if it's, you know, like you give yourself some headroom, right? You never know. There could be ambient uh, temperature rises. It could be plus or minus 10%. So they, they recommend one watt, and we'll, we'll go with that. Um, so in this case, uh, we can look for uh, this resistor. I know it's like, you know, you think you search for current sense, but even though um, current sense resistor is what I would consider a subclass of resistor, um, it's not sold separately than plain resistors. Um, there are chassis mount resistors and such, but you know, in this and adjustable power resistors, which are kind of specialized. But in this case, it really is just, it's just a resistor with a very high wattage. Um, so first off, we're only gonna look at stuff that's in stock and active because I'm, I'm, I want to purchase them and I also want to spec them. <laughs> you might want to purchase them. I want to purchase them. Make sure you can purchase the things that you want. Well, there's always like thousands of, you know, the resistors, are, there's literally a million different resistors. And so I'm like, look, I just want to get the ones that I can buy. Um, for resistance, um, you know, you can uh, put in, I'll actually use these limit boxes. So let's go from, you know, 250 to 350 milli ohms. So that's kind of nice. It, it will select for me um, nice. the... The, the area. I guess mm -hmm. if you can't select both. And then, of course, the most important thing is uh, that wattage. So under power watts, 
go down here and select one watt. Now there is 0.75 watts, and I don't know. You can you can also select that. But I'm going to stick to one, and then you know I I think as I as I really you know because I'm just laying out the design to test it. Um, as I do more testing, I can actually verify like how much wattage am I burning off of this resistor, and then if I can get away with 0.75, you know, because it's still more headroom than necessary. But I have to um, want to you know verify that. Um, tolerance one percent, five percent. It doesn't matter. I mean. Current sensor resistors are not going to get high precision because they're they're just differently made. Um, they're they're meant to dissipate a lot of heat. And in fact, if you look, um, there's some cool weird um, resistors out here. First off, um, they can come in you know uh, diode mouth because physically they're just larger. They can dissipate more current. Um, see, there was a really cool one. I don't know if it's there's one where you can actually see there was like three elements in it. Let me uh, let me go with stock. Is it this one? No, there was just oh yeah, here it is. So this is kind of cool. I saw this. I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. So you can literally see there are three resistors in parallel, oh, yeah. so that each one can dissipate, and it has a little bit of this you know, space in between them. So it, it's you know it's the old hack of like oh you need a like half watt resistor, you only have a quarter watt. You pick twice the resistance and double them up. And, and you get twice the wattage and half the resistance. Um, okay, same thing, but done for you in SMT format. So one thing um, I do want to note is, you know, which I've never seen before, and you do have to watch out for, is it's like, it's an 0805, but it's wide style, right? It's the wrong way. It's it's like couch style or whatever. It's, um, you, you don't connect across the pads. And that's important because, um, you know, usually for this resistance, you, you get 2512, right? Which is, which is kind of massive um, for a resistor. I mean, we can, um, I think uh, this is the resistor, right? Yeah, so this is 1206. Here's a 1206 on my board. Um, and if you change this package to 2512, it's like half the board is this resistor. I couldn't fit two of these. And so in this design, normally I go with price and I don't care about size because who cares, but like I am fixed. I have to have it in this package so that this breakout board can fit into like the standard, you know, 3D printing uh, stepper motor controller. So the size of it is important. Um, in which case I'm going to do what I normally don't do, which is uh, make sure that I don't have these massive packages. So I'm going to say, you know, 12, 10, 2010. I don't even want 2010 to be honest. I kind of want the smallest possible. Uh, I think kind of 12, 1218 or 1206 is the largest, and that'll really um, reduce the number down. And um, let me see if I can see what this was the 0805 wide, but this is a weird package. Oh, okay. So what happened is, is because it's a weird package, it actually doesn't appear here anymore. Aha. So let me go back. So under supplier device, I think I need to click this little tick. Yeah. So what I ended up doing is that the one I found is, oh, interesting. It did not, it didn't, one moment. It was, let me get rid of this package case. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's sometimes called 0805 or 0508. Um, so I did find this one, um, which I really liked because it has uh, 48,000 stock, which I really like. Um, however, like I said, it's it's weird. It's it's like sideways style. So I actually have to, in Eagle CAD, make a new package because there actually is no default resistor package that I've already used that is this like wide style. Um, but What's nice is that it's a really good price. It's like, you know, under 20 cents per resistor and it's 0805, which will like fit quite nicely. It's just like, it's just, you know, it's just, it's just backwards. Um, so, you know, one thing I learned is, is that as you saw, when you're searching for the packages, just be careful because it's like, you call this 0805, but it's actually not, it's 0508. And, and I see this whenever you're dealing with stuff like um, resistor networks and other like kind of non-standard like not jelly bean 
um, or there's some capacitors, if they come in a slightly unusual package, um, sometimes you have to be a little bit flexible on how you, you use the search terms to determine it because this would be categorized under 0805 even though like technically it's not. And then of course, uh, don't forget you have to create a new um, package layout in KiCat or Eagle if it doesn't exist yet because this is an unusual package. But that said, um, this is you know a very small resistor for this size and it'll fit very nicely in my design. So I haven't done the, um, the layout for that uh, 0508, but it'll be about this size, just, you know, a slightly different, you know, layout. And this, this will give me plenty of space. You know, I can have two of these and, and not worry about um, taking up too much space on my, my tiny little board. So um, current sense resistor is very interesting. Uh, you know, I've never had to pick one based on size, but as long as you're kind of flexible with your, your package options, um, you can get something quite small and there's a lot of it in stock. And that's a great search. Where is